Ain't hey, nigga step back. Most of y'all thoughts ain't even intact. Ever got kicked out the crib, then snap. Just to get snack, nigga, gotta move pack. You know I get cold when sleeping in the trap. Damn, I'm gonna speak the truth and facts. Frank do a lot in the pool when we rap. Cause I be the shit and y'all just crap. What is good, my kiddos? It is your boy, B Man, the fucking killer. And I'm back with another essay or video for you guys. Uh, first thing I like to say is. I want to thank everybody who's been supporting your boy for your last couple videos with the SAO tips and stuff. I feel so loved, baby. Oh my god. Y'all love me. I appreciate y'all liking the video, sharing it, subscribing. We, 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 we getting up there, man. It's good to finally get, get recognized by people. I thank y'all. Okay. But we're done. Okay. All right. I'm done now. All right. Cool. Now, hold on. Let me get some tissue. Wipe my eyes off, baby. Hold on. Okay. All right. Good. Cool. I'm good now. Now, seriously, though, I want to thank y'all for uh, showing the love, support on your boy for the last couple of videos that I've been doing on SAO. I've been having fun actually doing those and just you know getting the information out to you guys best way I can. You know what I'm saying? We all fellow SAO players, and we just want to make sure we have fun playing this game, whatever. But um, anyway. Uh, that's not what this video is about. This video is about DLC. <gasps> DLC already? Yes, I know. I'm shocked myself. I haven't even known about this till this morning. Shouts out to the homie me, Breeze. Um, so basically, what came to be was my boy Breeze ended up commenting on something that Von Dynamkin ended up like tweeting out, which should pop up on the screen. Um, they was talking about the, I guess, I'm not sure if it's just DLC itself, like the first one they're dropping, because it didn't really say, but as you see it says, uh, calling all Gun Gale online players, we've got brand new DLC content for SAO Fatal Bullet, plus jump into three new modes including Bullet of Bullets with your custom character, 4v4 PvP death uh, match online mode with no boss enemy and hero battle, those are the three modes. Um, first thing I like to say before I dive into this tweet, uh, was I the only one that think that when they first was announcing this game and marking this game before it dropped, that they was talking about pay eighty five dollars for just the game itself and two little ass cyber, uh, uh, lightsabers and a fucking guitar launcher? Cause I really thought that's what we was paying extra twenty five dollars for. Cause it said season pass, but it didn't say nothing about season pass. And I low key was like, hey, no way in hell am I paying eighty five dollars for just two lightsabers and a damn rocket launcher that looked like a fucking guitar. I don't know, was it just me that was thinking that? Cause I really low key thought that. I was like, you know what? I'm just glad that I was just able to get just the standard edition itself and just play that. Cause I'm like, dog, what the fuck? But anyway, I know they just recently did just drop the uh, the season pass in the Play Store. I did happen to see that, which is 25 bucks, and it's supposed to have like three expansions on there or such. So, I mean, I'm glad they cleared that up because I'm like, no, no offense to people that did pay the 80, the, got the deluxe edition. I just was like, yo, dog, who's gonna pay 85 dollars for just added on swords and shit like that? Because I got swords pretty early in the game. But I don't know. I just had to say that it was just on my mind. I just had to mention that. Let me know in the comments, because I hope I was on it when I wasn't thinking that. But anyway, so let's go into the first one. It says, Bullet of Bullets with your custom character. I'm not sure what Bullet of Bullets is. I will say this, though. I have not really played the multiplayer that much, except for just the co-op battle uh, boss stuff, where you just play with your friends, and you just uh, happen to just fight a boss all together with your AIs and such like that. That's the only mode I pretty much did. I haven't really done the other modes yet. I will do those eventually. But I've just been playing the story itself and just doing the playthrough on my channel. If you haven't checked that out, link will be in the description below. Check that out for you, boy. Support you, boy. But anyway, I haven't checked up, checked up on it. But if I were to guess what this would be, if you happen to know what this mode uh, is, if it's already out or something like that, let me know in the comments. Uh, you know, help everybody else out. For those who don't know what it is, or uh, my guess is basically... Um, you basically just playing because I'm if it's saying custom character, I'm pretty sure it's probably a mode where you play as like a, a character from the series and you're just you know fighting them with just guns. I'm pretty sure you're not gonna use melee weapons, so I guess bullets of bullets. I that's my just educated guess. So, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, what else more can you really say? Um, 4v4 PvP death 
match online mode with no bus i did hear of this i do know a little bit more about this because i have uh been interested in wanting to try that so i guess it's a mode where you right now the mode you basically play with four people online and you guys are supposed to fight a boss but also you're fighting the other enemy team and i guess you win based on the amount of damage you do to the boss as well as uh you know the most amount of points or something like that i could be wrong but I, i'm pretty sure uh that's what it is from what i've gathered and i guess what they're doing now they're actually just having a mode where you just do pvp and just fight you know other people online without the boss which i think is cool i, I thought they would have done that first and then add it or had them both out when it dropped but apparently not and then we have hero battle uh, I know Hero Battle is basically you're just playing as just the characters itself, the main cast, and other people that was from like different uh, SAO games and stuff in the past. Um, so, I mean, there's that too. Um, I, I am interested in want to try that too because I, I know that's more of a more balanced mode because you're playing with characters with fixed moves and fixed gadgets. So that seems pretty cool. And then we have the uh, we have three screenshots. Um, I'm saying the fans, I am going to probably butcher the hell out of these names, but we have uh, Zakisa or Zakelsa, I'm not sure. She's the character that's on the story mode. I'm pretty sure you recognize her face because her picture should be up. But uh, we have her, and then the next second one, we have three characters. I know one, I know the one in the middle, I recognize him from the anime, so I guess he's in here. And then we have two other characters, I'm not sure of their names. If you happen to know names, let us know in the comments and stuff to everybody who else know. I'm sorry, I'm not being very informative, but like I said, I'm trying. Like, this stuff is new, this drop today, so I'm pretty sure everybody's trying to figure this out. And then on the third one, we have. Uh, met, uh, we have like a robot and such. So my thing is, do we have another mo? Are we gonna have another like dungeon? If there's another dungeon, does that mean we have another uh, area in the game? Since we already have the Forgotten Forest, Remedy Wastelands, and saw uh, this old South, such like that. Are we gonna get another area? Because that would be cool. You know what I'm saying? Not that the game isn't big enough itself. But it would be cool to get another mode though. Well, another another area to like go through and try out and stuff. So I don't know. That 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 one kind of like really gets to me though. I'm really curious about that. Let me know what you guys think, alright? And then um to also add the fact that they did drop a trailer apparently. Um the trailer kind of giving more in-depth analysis of what's gonna happen possibly in this DLC. But I'll do that in another video. But for now, I'll just end it here because I don't want this video to be super long and I want to drop it as soon as I can. So without further ado, if you get if you enjoyed this, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe to me and join the team. And I'll see you on the next one. I'm out. Peace. I'm a money maker.